Kaji. Okay, ready? This is the verse. The Lord is the true God. He is the blank God and the everlasting King. What goes into the blank? Is it A, living, B, true, or C, loving? Can you see the whole thing? Yes, this is the verse. Um, I don't know if I should write it. It's, but the Lord is the true God. He is the blank God and the everlasting King. So is the answer, he is the living God? Is the answer, he is the true God? Or is it, he is the loving God? Is it, he is the living God? You gotta make a choice. All right, let's hold them up. Hajim says, A, he is the living God. You say he is the true God. You say he is the living God. You say he's the living God. You say he's the living God. Guess what? The answer is he is the living God. Yes! I'm winning! Hajim gets a point. Four is the dog. Hajim gets a point. Wow. Yeah. So what happened in this story? Yes, right? So my first question is, how was Elijah taken up to heaven? Oh, I know this. A. A. He died naturally. B. B. He was taken up in a chariot of fire. No. C. God pulled his body up. What's B again? Chariot of fire. Pedro. So, okay, so the question again is, how did Elijah get taken up to heaven? A, he died naturally. B, he was taken up by a chariot of fire. C, God pulled him up directly. A, B, you say, C, God pulls him up directly. You said B, in a chariot of fire, you said B, in a chariot of fire, you said, Oh, for question five, right? Yes, A. That is the right answer. Wait. No, the answer is B. Yes! The chariot of fire. The winning hand is the same. Is the first one to five points? James gets a point. Six. How much more power? How much more power? Did Elisha ask for? Yeah. How much more power did Elisha ask for the double. from Elijah? I'm A, just kidding. Triple. He wanted the same amount of power as Elijah. <laughs> B. He wanted double power from Elijah. C. He wanted triple power from Elijah. <laughs> oh, you have to go? All right. That's fine. We'll see you next week, okay? I'll see you next week. So, can I see your answers, please? Alright, so Hudgen says, Hudgen, I can't see six. Okay, B. Hudgen says B. He asked for double power. He said B. He asked for double power. He said B. He asked for double power. He said He gets a point. Because he has can we play water balloon later? Sure. No. So now the next chapter is called the hmm. oh. the Shunammite woman oh. treats Elijah or serves she serves Elijah. The Shunammite woman serves Elijah. That's the name of the chapter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So question number seven: What did the Shunammite woman make? for Elijah, okay? A, she built him a church. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, no ice. Oh, you gotta go? Okay, Noah, you did good though, you got four points. That's very good, I'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Yeah, it's just a two week, no, actually, I'll here too. All right, so, the question again is, what did the Shunammite woman make for Elisha? A, she built him a church. B, she built him a house. C, she built him a room.
A, she built it in the church. C. B, she built in a house. C, she built in a room. Number five, the Shunammite woman serves Elisha. Hudson says, Steve, she built him a room. You say, A, she built him a church, and you say, C, she built him a room. The answer is, C, she yes. built him a room. Seven points! Next time, do B. Next question. Next question. What happened to the Shunammite woman's son? A, he died and came back to life. B, he became the next prophet. C, sorry about that. So the question is, what happened to the Shunammite woman and son? A, he died and came back to life. B, he became the next prophet. C, the Shunammite woman did not have a son. Alright, you gotta write something down. A, B, or C. Alright. So I got Hudjung's answer. Got Kate's answer. And you said A. The answer is a, he died and yes. back to life. Remember Elisha? Yes. He put his eyes on the boy's eyes. He put his lips on the boy's eyes. Number one his hands is... on the boy's I'm eyes. number one too. No, no, my name is Ha Won. Won. Very good. I do not the next lose. chapter. The next chapter is called Naaman is Cleansed. Okay, so here's question number nine. It's a two part question. You have to get both correct. Two part okay? question? Yeah, to get one point, you have to get both correct. Okay? So it's a two part question. Two part question. The first part is what was Naaman's job? A. Prophet. B. King. C. General. Again, the question is what was Naaman's job? A. Prophet. Right. B, king, C, general. Okay, and then I'll move on to the second part of the question. This is true or false, okay? Was he an Israelite? True or false? Was Naaman an Israelite? True or false? Do any of you guys need me to repeat the question? No. No? Everybody got it? I was there counted two points. The second part, is he an Israelite, true or false? As soon as Kate's still writing, I'll check your answers. So Hadron says, see he was a general and false. He was not an Israelite. You said, A, he was a prophet and true, he was an Israelite. You said, C, he was a general, and no, he was not an Israelite. The answer is, C, he was a general, and no, he was not an Israelite. Yes! So the answer should be C and the ball. Keep it to Hodgson. Alright, next question. 